Tension at the top of the state's largest school district and a lawsuit over Common Core. Those stories headline tonight's Making the Grade with Idaho Education News reporter Kevin Richard. Making the grade, Kevin's back. A tumultuous West Ada School Board meeting last night as we were reported. Kevin, bring me up to speed on the politics of this because it's been simmering and now it seems to have bubbled over. Yes, uh, what you're seeing now and what we saw at the meeting last night, this has been a very fractured school board really ever since the election in May. But what you're seeing now is you're seeing a lot of, you know, you're seeing a lot more public attention being focused on what's going on in this school district and this school board that you know, governs the, the largest district in the state. You had uh, uh, Chuck Winder, a member of Senate uh, Republican leadership, was there speaking out and criticizing the school board for what he thought were decisions that were being discussed uh, behind closed doors. Christine Donnell, who has been kind of speaking up about the possibility of trying to uh, organize a recall election against some of the school trustees. Christine Donnell is a former school superintendent in Meridian city council member, very well known in the community. So you're seeing a lot of prominent folks now paying attention to and speaking out on the issue. So it's, it's becoming probably more of a, uh, of a local controversy than it was even a few weeks ago. So are people just upset that the school board is taking these actions? Do they think that they aren't listening to the public? What was coming out of that meeting last night? I don't know. And I don't know if it's easy to kind of pigeonhole it into kind of one category. But I think what you're seeing to a large extent are, are folks in the community who are, who are starting to become uneasy with the discord and the tension that seems to be coming out of the school board meetings, hmm. the school it's, board process. It's going to be interesting yes. to follow, and we'll see what happens with the recall effort as well. Mm -hmm. Let's move to another subject that has a lot of people talking, as it always does. We say common core, and everybody wants to listen, right? Well, now there's a federal lawsuit that's been filed. Tell us a little bit about this lawsuit, what it means to Idaho, and if things will change anytime soon with either the common core and the standards or specifically the SBAC test. Right, Let, let's kind of peel it back a little bit. Basically the lawsuit in federal court, it seeks to do two things. It does seek to get rid of the Idaho core standards and that's Idaho's version of common core. We've had it in the classrooms for two years. It also seeks to basically shut down the SBAC test. Now this is the test that's aligned to common core. It's supposed to test kids on how well they are commanding the, the new standards. This was a test uh, kids in the state took it last spring. Um, that is kind of the crux of the lawsuit. And there have been cases in other states that have tried to go after the, the SBAC test and this multi-state consortium that's offering uh, this exam or variations of this exam in 18 states. Now, what this means for Idaho, though, is what? That we have to fight another lawsuit over education? I, I think someone's destined to, to go through the courts. Um, when you have the political leadership of the state and the education leadership of the state and the business leadership of the state has been fairly uh, united in support of Common Core, I think you're going to see a, a, a court battle over the future of Common Core. The future of SBAC is a whole different story mm. because outside of this lawsuit you have folks like Boise School District, uh, Superintendent Don Coberly in the Boise District criticizing the SBAC saying, you know, maybe there's another test we should be using. And for people who don't understand, why would he criticize it? Well, he's got a lot of concerns about it. It takes a lot of time. This is an online test that takes several hours for kids to complete. And his concern, being a, uh, a real analyst of test results in his job, is he's feeling like for all the time the kids are taking on these tests, we're really not getting very much in the way of useful data. Mm. So he's coming at this with a whole different set of objections to the SBAC. And mind you, Don Co Coberly, like a lot of educators, likes Common Core. He doesn't, doesn't like the test. So this could be a very interesting issue unfold at the legislature. Right. I think you'll see debate over SBAC, independent of what goes on in courts. <laughs> oh, there's always a lot to talk yes. about on Making the Grade. It never ends, does it, with education. Kevin, we appreciate what you're writing. IdahoEdNews.org, if you want to see what happened at the West Ada Trustees meeting last night firsthand, go there. Kevin, thanks for being here for Making the Grade. Thank you.